So at Mood Data, we always begin our projects with a discovery phase. This is a moment in the project where we dive deep into your company and understand your actual problem, create an understanding of your status, where you are, and where you want to be, what your needs are technically and also business-wise. We need to incorporate a lot of the st stakeholders that will be benefiting from the project, that will be developing the project, that will be impacted by the project. And that means also understanding your infrastructure, what your data looks like, what's your code base, what are your systems, and obviously, and most importantly, what are your KPI and business goals that you want to achieve. Um, to do this, we go through a lot of standardized design questions, we have a lot of meetings with the client, and obviously, engineering-wise or business-wise, but in the end, all of this leads up to a certain process that will help us improving what we understand from your problem. For the discovery process, we use these questions in conjunction with the machine learning canvas. This is a tool that consists of questions that allow us to illustrate our vision or our project in a simple way that is visually appealing and easy to understand. In short, it answers some key questions regarding what we want to achieve, how we will learn, how will the machine learning models will learn, what is the data, what sources is it going to be using, how are we going to collect that data in the future, what are the features for the model, and what are the different algorithms or models to be implemented. Then it also has a part telling us how we will be making predictions, when we will be making those predictions, and what are the technical obstacles to implement that. Finally, uh, it will help us understand how we will plan and continuously test a machine learning model that will be in production. All of this information together leads to different proposed solutions that we will believe will be best fit for your needs. Eventually, with all of this information together, we produce what is called a product brief. In a product brief, we will find a defined KPI, a very understanding um, business metric, and a design document that will also help us plan accordingly. As an overview, we need to understand what your architecture is and we'll map it to a um, diagram in our design doc, but also help us understand what is the roadmap, what is the outline, what are things that we are not going to do, what is an MVP, what is the end game after the MVP, and what are the different obstacles that we might find together during the project. To end the discovery phase, we will come up with an action plan. This is an actual ground to earth description of the different milestones and tasks to be made. It will help us close the gap from where we are right now to where we want to be. And it will also help us understand what is the approximate estimated project duration, and what is the scope of what we want to build, what we need from your teams or systems, and what we will del be delivering. Obviously, a project's duration depends on many things and this is an estimation. And this is not a waterfall process, but more of an agile process. This is a high level overview where the different phases will feedback loop into each other. And finally, to have an accurate estimate, this will depend on the technical maturity of the company, it will depend on the skill set of what we want to achieve, the complexity, and it will also depend on what is the manpower we have for it.